Morning. Good morning to whoever is out there. I'm uh, going to do an update video here on this Monday, July 27th. 27th? I meant to say 22nd. 2019, 4.45 p.m. And got a little earthquake coming into the Ridgecrest area, Southern California, uh, right here, this little spike. Nothing big, probably just like a two pointer, 2.5, possibly. Um, but either way, very localized there with that sharp spike showing up on the data coming in. Um, also, uh, live view over there around Tehachapi, California. Kind of looking towards the west, I believe, or let's see, somewhere around the west. Uh, either way, some clouds rolling in. Looks like possibly some monsoonal moisture coming in there towards the east. Um, over around Arizona and whatnot. But anyway, uh, getting back to the earthquake activity. Uh, Ridgecrest, California region still seeing some aftershock activity following the 7.1 uh, a couple weeks now ago and uh, you know that's expected uh, it's, it's normal uh, the folks at the USGS did predict roughly around oh 32,000 earthquakes or so uh, predicted or expected I should say um, so yeah this is going to definitely continue for quite some time there is some uh, new activity down in the Southern California region uh, just outside of uh, the Ridgecrest region there. You can kind of see it on this map here. I'll probably show you guys the, uh, the other one here in a minute. The little blue square. You can zoom in here. A uh, little four point, uh, what was it? Whoa, that was way off here. Okay, what I'm going to do is go back with this other map here. Well, it's, uh, okay, this will work. Um, 4.2 being seen right there. Let me make this map a little bit smaller. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. It just never fails. Okay, there we go. 4.2, 16 kilometers south of 29 Palms, California, Southern California. You guys can see the little earthquakes there, uh, little yellow circles there not really associated with any fault system out there. Let's see if I can zoom in just a tad bit more here and um, bring this within view. I'm not for sure why the fault systems are not showing up on this map here. Maybe they are and I can't see. I guess they are up here. Anyway, uh, yeah, 4.2 and a 2.7 there uh, in the region, about 7 kilometers below the surface there. And once again, I stated that no, no association with any fault systems out here at all. Uh, the closest one is going to be this fault system called the Pinto Mountain Fault. I think I pronounced that right, or Pinto. It's spelled P-I-N-T-O, uh, Mountain Fault. It's a left lateral strike slip type of fault. Uh, length of the fault system is about 70 through 73 kilometers, possibly as long as 90 kilometers. Uh, nearest communities include 29 Palms, Joshua Tree, and the Yucca Valley area. Most recent rupture experience uh, a triggered slip in 1992 due to shaking from the Landers earthquake. Uh, slip rate is roughly about 1 mm per year. Uh, interval between major ruptures are uncertain at this moment. Uh, probable magnitudes around that specific fault system include uh, uh, possibilities of 6.5 to 7.5 magnitude on that specific fault system up here to the north. You can see it right around the 29 Palms uh, area right there. I'm trying to get the uh, trying to get it to show up on the map here but sometimes it does not want to do it and I'm not for sure why but anyway you see 29 palms it here uh, there's a little red line running just north of that interstate there uh, kind of east to west I guess uh, looks like it ends over here just towards the uh, Indian reservation there the 29 palms Indian reservation there just to the southeast of 29 palms um, so anyway, yeah, the earthquake activity itself took place, uh, I'm wanting to say probably about five miles south of that fault system. And other than that, there's not really any other 
fault systems within that area. Um, of course, this is kind of mountainous area out here, and um, and the San Andreas fault system sits way over there. But yeah, just looking at the different fault systems up here, it's just really the closest one is going to be that Pinto fault system, and uh, yeah, just kind of strange. Not a whole lot of, like say this is 2.5 and above. Let me see if I can't add the all magnitudes here. I think my arrow is messed up here, or my pointer anyway. It doesn't want to click where I click it. So I'm just gonna have to do that. So anyway, I'm, I'll jump back on that and see if I can get this thing working. But uh, like I say, once again, not a whole lot of earthquake activity aside from uh, stuff going on in the Ridgecrest area. See a couple more spikes showing up there on that seismograph station here once again. Uh, so yeah, we're keeping an eye on it. Rest of the activity worldwide uh, shows a pretty good size increase in activity over here towards the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, I noticed over the last day or two, Things were starting to mellow out uh, pretty much globally, but uh, you know it kind of comes in waves, it comes and goes, and uh, today it looks like it's coming back uh, with some uh, significant moderate type quakes over here uh, towards the Indonesia Islands region down here. Um, a couple of fives coming in there, and also up towards uh, the Japan area, just south of Japan, southwest of Japan. Uh, quite a few fours and fives popping up in there uh, and that's just today uh, some aftershock activity are con continuing over there around the Greece region where they had that uh, 5.3 there a few days ago and uh, yeah, just quite a bit of activity on this side some uh, a pair of deep earthquakes right here just south of Fiji islands region and of course that's kind of like our deep area that we watch uh, definitely no stranger to deep earthquakes in that area. A lot of times when we see uh, deeper earthquake activity out here in the south, uh, towards Fiji Islands region, we also see some major adjustment up here to the north uh, and northwest of this Pacific Plate, and that's exactly uh, what's happening today. Although with the multitude of uh, some fairly moderate magnitudes, I wouldn't be surprised if we happen to see a six here, uh, or possibly a little bit larger within this region here possibly before the night's over. There's just too many, too many uh, moderate quakes here and uh, just not enough uh, uh, adjustment there for a significant one, uh, which like I say, it could take place here pretty soon uh, within this region. Um, over here on the west coast, once again, 3.7 looks like stri striking off the coast of uh, Oregon. Let me get some details on that one. seven and that's going to be well okay it's just west northwest of Ferndale California 22 miles 22 kilometers below the surface so just off the coast uh, kind of like in this area where we're always seeing um, uh, some activity there kind of right there on that triple junction there between the uh, Gorda escarpment uh, the Juan de Fuca plate and the uh, This one, let me zoom in. There we go. And the, uh, what was I going to say? Pacific plate over here. So there's that 2.5 showing up in the green flag. That's going to be um, one of these earthquakes that are taking place here. It looks like we're getting a little, um, a little small swarm of them right now. Uh, so we will keep an eye on that region. Uh, in the meantime, I gotta get get ready and uh, get some stuff done here uh, before I have another fun day at uh, the labor mill. And uh, hot, hot out here. It's supposed to be above 100, uh, probably 105, 106 all week long out here in California. Looks like down in uh, Tehachapi region, looks like what, 97? Uh, and some wind out there at least 15 miles per hour. 
Uh, so a beautiful day out there, no doubt. Uh, anyway, folks, we're going to jump off here. Live stream is up and running. And uh, as always, please stay safe out there. And uh, like I say, good possibility with all the magnitudes going on out there, or the multitude of moderate magnitude earthquakes out there in the Pacific Ring of Fire, a uh, good chance we'll probably see a six-pointer uh, before the night's over at least is what I'm expecting um, with all this activity going on it's just you know a lot of times it, it, uh, we see like this jumbled up mess out here of, of moderate quakes before we see a, a pretty significant size earthquake so uh, we shall be watching and uh, I'll update if need be. In the meantime, have a good day out there, folks. Uh, stay cool if you are out there in the heat, and uh, we'll chat at you folks a little bit later. Peace.